Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go. So let's go. let's let's talk about the the come say how should I say it? cosmic body? Yes. So the the upgrade of our body. Are we are recording? Yes, it is recording. Okay, it's recording. So we are not upgrading. We are the cosmic body. Like we don't need upgrades like your telephone, you know. <laughs> Because we are we embody it, we have the human genome that shows up with all life forms in existence and in 3D perspective. Yeah, 3D is not a place, it's a perspective, it's a way of being. And Contrary to what everybody says, because most people say, oh, we've fallen to 3D and we have to ascend in 5D. That's a form of escapism, like we're trying to escape um, or run away from 3D. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just like people try to escape from the challenges they have in their lives. But the fun is that we can navigate all the challenge through all the challenges that we have in life. That's where the fun begins. But it's very interesting to understand how, how it's possible that we create this, uh, this lack, the, the sense that we, we, something is missing here in 3D, and we shall escape somewhere where all those things are available. How we created this sense of lack of something? Very simple. Every single moment, we offer thoughts in opposition of what we want. Regardless of any sub, that's how we create that illusion of lack because lack does not exist in the universe, how can it be if we are omnip omnipresent, if we're all that is, if we're all life forms in existence, if we are the embodiment of it, yes? There, there cannot be any lack. It's a false premises. And one of the false premises is that 3D is the a lower level and we have to ascend somewhere else. And then we demonize this place and we try to escape it. <laughs> Absolutely. I noticed also that uh, a lot of people are doing a lot of practices in order to achieve the cosmic body. And, and they are the cosmic body, you know. We, are, we invented all kinds of therapies and all kinds of ceremonies in order to achieve something that we are. It's ridiculous. And then all those practices they will um, send you um, straight into the astral realm or the mental realm that's why you keep you keep practicing if the practice works you'd stop practicing after a while no <laughs> I mean, it makes sense doesn't it so it makes sense yes yeah if you keep continuing your practice then maybe you have to pay attention and see am i getting where am i going with this i haven't gotten where i need to go so but it's showing you your own practice is showing you the futility of it yeah because and in a practice you're very very busy with the um, the practice itself whatever the exercise is and you all, it's the its algorithm is that you're missing something so Already you're sitting in a state of being that is um, that is implying lack in the mm -hmm. algorithm, yeah, in a in a template of the illusion of lack. And simply and, by focusing something that you don't want. Simply by noticing in the, that you that where you, the direction of your focus. Hmm? And not doing something to change that direction because that's another practice. Yeah. 
another exercise. It's just by simply noticing because that is guidance system from your cosmic body that is saying now you're entering the mirror of your own belief system. It's just alerting you. So then you know that you're going to enter that. And, and then you know what to expect there. <laughs> and usually we were speaking about how we are being misunderstood. We misunderstand each other. We say one thing and then, you know, the other one trying to convince us or we try to convince the other one. So misunderstanding is always happening is when we enter our, the mirror of our own belief system. When we begin to effort, because we make an effort to explain, to clarify, it's, it comes through effort. So the cosmic body is alerting us. Now you're entering the mirror and you understand that there you will have everything that you do there, including your conversations will take place in effort. It doesn't say don't go in a mirror. It doesn't say get out of the mirror. It's just, it's just alerting you what kind of dialogues you're going to have in a mirror, even with yourself. That's when you go round and about in your head. <laughs> and you could be very right in your explanation, yeah? Very, absolutely correct. When people speak about their own narratives or their own belief system, they're absolutely right, of course. But they don't know they're in the mirror of their own belief system. They're not in their natural timeline. They're not. In other words, they, because their light is only um, unfolding in, in, within the natural, effortless. It's a very subtle difference between uh, being yeah. in the mirror and uh, not. <laughs> It's very subtle and yet uh, overlooked. And yet we are always, always being alerted by our inner being because you get a feeling inside your body or in your, uh, of uncomfortableness, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's a sign. That's your sign. You now enter the mirror or you are about to enter because you get the signal before you enter it like a split of a second <laughs> but even if you don't catch that you will catch this effort in your in your being it's in your body in your mind in your emotions just like we always um get alerted when we look at our or our garden or the reflection in the in a, in a dewdrop yeah Immediately, we don't have to do any practice, nothing. It just appears instantaneously when we need it. So we can discern what is the real dialogue because the real dialogues um, at, take place being, beingness, being to being. Like right now, we, we're very clear, we're presenting clarity to ourselves. And we have resonance every every time we are in clarity of our own spirit. Yeah, it's like we are totally get each other. <laughs> we always agree. That's very interesting. Of course, even if you, of course, we do, because mm -hmm. you are in resonance with the with the clarity of or with your own understanding. Where the, even if we have a dialogue in the mirror, still we understand we're in the mirror, therefore we gonna, don't understand each other. You see, <laughs> that's why we don't understand each other. And that's also clarity. And then, then we do understand that we are having a dialogue from a false premises because there is no lack. It's an illusion and we create it every single time 
or every single mo every moment we offer thoughts. You have to see the directions of your thoughts. You have to watch it and see for a while. <laughs> I did that yesterday. And for about <laughs> two hours. And really I noticed how quick I can lose myself in stories like oh my god and i i was i i'm always surprised okay i'm here again what am i doing here i was with my project and out of the blue phew, flying around in my head really yeah because we translate uh, consciousness here through thoughts and a thought is very fast that's how consciousness is yeah and and we do we come in and out of the mirror every 70 every time you get lost there yeah 17 seconds you're going to in your your own cosmic body integrates everything it does and it will give you clarity you'll keep saying you're in the mirror you're in the mirror you still feel uncomfortable are you still feeling uncomfortable yes that means you're in the mirror uh, don't dig out the subject you know and keep trying to to get out of the mirror or you try to what change your belief system <laughs> it's just, just notice that you are efforting that's it and that very fact that you notice it means that you're noticing the integration that's taking place every 70 seconds you don't need to integrate okay just notice yes you just notice the fact that you're alert you're being alerted and 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 then then you will see if your body or your mind is still in effort yeah and it might be for a few minutes because there is so much momentum like you said the thought is very fast it has incredible in intensity our thoughts are very intense and here we translate intensity as speed. Yeah, it's very intense. It has a lot of momentum. So of course that feeling of effort might linger for a while, but not because you're tied up with the narrative. It's because for the very simple fact that our focus has momentum. So that way you don't blame yourself that you still feel uncomfortable or you think there's something wrong with you. There isn't, you're riding a stream of consciousness and streams of consciousness, consciousness are, they seem fast, but they're actually very intense. You see, it, it, shows, you, it shows you how powerful you are in your own focus, <laughs> your own power. Wow. That's what it's showing you, yeah? It's showing you how powerful your focus is and also the direction of it. That's it. If you notice do th do these two things, uh, then you notice the cosmic body, what it does. It's an, it's a, it has in, in, incredible intelligence because it senses everything. Yeah. It's very sensitive. It's like, your your latest iPhone, you know, they're very fast and very sensitive, yeah, very efficient. And you do feel it through your body because that's what we embody here, the, the, the effort or effortless, it's meant that way to feel your body. And yesterday I was thinking is, uh, because when you when you notice you catch yourself in the whirlpool of a thought of thoughts yeah is the breath will always bring you back into the body it will get you out if you notice your breath the, just the next breath yeah just notice it because it's meant to bring you back into body consciousness body awareness yeah where you feel in your mind, you cannot feel because you're in a program, yeah? A program, a narrative is a program. It doesn't feel anything. It just goes on and on and on and on. It doesn't have self-awareness, yeah? But the cosmic body does through your emotions, it will say, or through 
um, the feeling of uh, being uncomfortable. So three things, yeah, to notice. That you're very powerful in your focus, the direction of your focus, yeah, and how the breath will always bring you back to your body. Yeah? It'll bring you inside your body, inside your being, because cosmic body means beingness. <laughs> and our soul blueprint is beingness. That's the soul blueprint, the template, yeah? And, and being here means you embody this knowledge that you are, you exist in all life forms simultaneously, <laughs> which is mind boggling, huh? Imagine that. Wow. Because, yes. Wow, wow, wow. Even here on earth, all life forms here on earth are aspects of our being. Yeah, pets, plants, fish in the ocean, mountains, rocks. Huh? They're an aspect of our being. They have attributes, attributes that, that we can recognize like in a rock, you know, like solid, quiet, <laughs> ancient. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The qualities of consciousness, yeah, states of being. Oh, yeah, because wow. we know states of being, states of beings are the blueprint for the next minute, for the next moment to come into being. That's how fast we move. Yeah, think of it, and every state of being or every quality of consciousness, yeah? it's the template. Like if you look at the rock, yeah, mm, maybe the metaphor that you get, the, 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 the message that you are sending from, from you to you, because you know the rock is an aspect of your being. Mm? So when you think of a rock, what kind of metaphor are you thinking? Like I already said mine, but you might have, a, another metaphor for it yes um a movement like like rolling rolling rock. and like they are forever there like yes so it's like oldness i don't know oldness like uh has always been there yeah. And of course, solid. Solid. Mm -hmm. So heavy. these are mm -hmm. heavy. Solid. Yeah. And and so so if so if we notice is that we're describing a state of being, we're really not describing the rock. We never describe the thing. Uh, yeah. We're describing qualities of consciousness which is another it's a metaphor for a certain state of being because we know states of being are blueprints yeah and then we know the next moment will feel like that yeah or maybe that's what we desire in the moment yeah we desire that 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 in through that metaphor and then we encode, encode to, to rocks, metaphors like that, to remind ourselves. If I ever get lost and don't know how to find myself, I look at the rock or a bird, and then I would bring to me uh, these kind of qualities, because I know when I, when I describe those qualities, I can tap immediately into that state to be instantly i can tap into that stream of consciousness hmm. wow so that's what it means to have the body of christ yeah we encoded it in, uh, because they are an aspect of our being our being is encoded in everything and actually 
we do that because we want to also give this physical body, this anatomy yeah, that we have, a break. Yeah? When you look at birds, at the rock, at nature, you actually give the, the way this anatomy is working, it, you give it a rest. Yeah? Mm -hmm. it, it can rest in, it can rest in knowing a foreverness, like yeah, because you're giving it a signal. Yeah, maybe the body got all uncomfortable for a while from not noticing, spending too much time in the mirror. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then by contemplating on the attributes of the rock, the meaning that you assign to it. Yeah, you give this body a break. You, you're telling this body, yeah? You're telling, I understand. I understand that the reason you feel uncomfortable is because to alert me, yeah? The, to alert me. And now I understand, yeah? And then the body is, um, is gonna follow your, because it has to follow your focus. It does as well. You see? Mm -hmm. And actually the body is never uncomfortable either. It's just, um, it's, another, it's that layer, yeah, by being in a mirror. Because as soon as you understand that everything is an aspect of your being, then it shows you the body itself, it's gonna show you that you understand both, yeah? You understand what it means to be uncomfortable and why. Huh? And you also understand that the cosmic body encodes itself in all life forms here on Earth, not just on Earth, in the cosmos, in, in stars and galaxies and beyond, things we cannot even express in words, but we understand. Now we can understand why 3D is the leading edge technology. Well, it has been. Why? Because we get our hands on it here. We really practice what we preach, you know, sort of. Yeah? Yes. Yes. We practice everything. We don't avoid anything. Yeah. It's not a problem. We go in and out of the mirror. That's not our problem at all because we like that uh, that calibration that take place and the fact that we navigate. That's what gives us um, like curiosity and fun. It's like in traffic. If you know how to navigate traffic, you don't mind traffic, no? You don't mind it. Even if there is a lot of traffic because you get these impulses from inside to zoom right through it and you like it. <laughs> but if you get frustrated, then you don't see the signs, the insights, you don't get the impulses, yeah? And then you say, I'm, you say, I'm stuck in traffic and then you see others, they just keep on zooming <laughs> through it, yeah? <laughs> Why? Because they are navigating their inner being. They're not navigating the traffic outside. Too They're navigating their inner landscape. Huh? They're not looking at traffic. They're waiting for the impulses. They ignore the traffic. <laughs> wow, that's so funny. <laughs> They ignore their circumstances and other people because there are no relevance to you. What is relevant is that to catch the impulse from your inner landscape, yeah? You navigate, nobody navigates an outer landscape. It doesn't exist, so why bother? It doesn't. It's a mirror of your own lack, you know? Then now it says, and I don't mean your own, yours. I mean ours, yeah, I don't mean you when I say you. <laughs> yeah, we have to notice we navigate only our inner landscape, the real being. Huh? Wow. So 
So, yeah. very, very interesting. The cosmic body that we are. That's the only thing that exists. Yeah. And then the mirror rises simultaneously to just tell you. Yeah. Only, only, only one thing. Yeah. That your focus now is in the opposite direction. You're offering thoughts. Yeah. When you're stuck in traffic and you get mad. Yeah. Which we do and it's fine. I do. But I notice, hey, my focus is, is exactly the opposite of what I want. Yeah, and then I laugh. <laughs> and then I look for the inner, inner prompting. Yeah? And then I find my way through just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. The next thing I know, I just zoom along. You know? <laughs> it's the same in every situation whether it's traffic or anything that you try to figure out. Yeah? First notice, am I, do, am I doing it by effort? Do I feel uncomfortable or are you flowing with it? <laughs> Great. And okay. we will continue to speak of the cosmic body because there's a lot to say about it. But I think for today is okay. yes, for today, yes, it's it was absolutely amazing and so complete the discussion that closed absolutely amazingly and in a very simple way, like always Felicia does. It makes it simple. <laughs> so, so let's call this flow versus effort. So flow versus effort. Okay. Yeah. Great. We do that. Thank yeah. you. Felicia. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao. Hello, everybody from Hawaii. <laughs> Waikiki. Oh, yes. We also want to announce. Should we announce it or keep yes. it surprise? Yes. No, you can announce it. Why not? Okay. We decided that Yana and I, yeah, and Nora, Nora. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It was like the trilogy, you know, the three pillars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We decided to invite all of you to join us in Hawaii, in Honolulu, Hawaii, and sometimes in May. We don't know exactly the dates. Yes. Okay. If you can, uh, uh, you can. Yes. <laughs> Great. Yes. Come Come and see, we will announce the date and the location and everything and, and join us because uh, it's going to be fantastic. That's all we're going to talk about, the cosmic body. <laughs> we will enjoy a lot. A lot. Because Hawaii is the first place where, where I, for the first time in my life, I cried for happiness. Oh, wow. I cried because I was too happy. <laughs> there you go. Okay, thank you, Felicia. Okay, see you. Ciao. See you. Bye, bye. Bye. <laughs>